you, Tina Marie, with True Meaning of Radiance. I know y'all tired of this outfit. Like, every second video for the past couple days has had this outfit. Why? Because it's Sunday and I'm front-loading to make sure I have content for you all. It is what it is, okay? So, um, today's video is a review on the Toasted Hazelnut Praline. Um, this is what the top looks like of the candle and this is what the candle actually looks like and that's everything around it it's super cute and as it hits the light it kind of looks like it has like a bluish kind of tint to it but that's just the lighting but it's so pretty okay um this is what the candle looks like i can see that it is starting to mushroom a little bit it does have a white wax as well is a 14.5 candle. Now the notes in this candle is hazelnut, toasted marshmallow, vanilla woods with natural essential oils. I'm gonna read my code off to y'all. Um, my code and batch and all that is 1281AG04 and the timestamp is 1417. So that's where my batch is coming from and the price point on this candle is 25.50. Now, I'm done being professional. Let loose, girl. Y'all, what's up? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this candle and I'm gonna tell you a lot of my thoughts about it. If you should get this candle and what's good with it, what's a dupe, like period. So Queen of the Girl Geek said she ain't like this candle. She said the combination was weird to her. I'm like, girl, no, you hurting my heart, mama. How you don't love this candle? Like, but she didn't like it. And that's a good thing about being a reviewer on YouTuber uh, and a YouTuber is everybody's nose is different. Everybody doesn't like the same thing. We all don't like the same thing. And that's why y'all watch different reviewers because we all have different thoughts on things and we like different scents. That's even like with people you're related to. Me and my mom don't like the same scents. Some scents we we love, you know, but some things like when she be talking about that JCB and stuff, I be like, girl, but we don't like the same thing and everything. And I think that's the same when it comes to candles and everything else. That's why you watch multiple reviewers because it's somebody's scent nose that works better with your scent nose is how it is, okay? But to me, I love this candle and I'm about to tell you why, okay? This candle is good, good. I had this candle going and on coal, it smells just like, um, oh my God. On coal, it smells just like pumpkin peanut brittle. This is my nose, okay? Everybody's nose is different. It smells just like pumpkin peanut brittle. And yes, this is the original pumpkin peanut brittle. I refuse to burn this one. It's just a lighter version. <sighs> the nose in pumpkin peanut brittle um, is crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds. Y'all, this is like a Ritz cracker, um, a buttery Ritz cracker. That's what it gives. <sighs> Y'all, they smell very similar. The only thing with this one um, is you get a little bit of that hazelnut, more hazelnut and that praline, but they're so similar. And I think what makes them very, very similar is because they're both toasted um, and that toasty kind of smell is in both of them. I love it. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So if you love pumpkin peanut brittle, I think you're going to love this candle. I really do. Like I'm rooting for this candle. I'm rooting for all of y'all to like this candle as much as I do. Like, um, on coal is, it is kind of strong. I mean, you do get that, um, hazelnut. Um, but you get that praline too, that gives that sweet or whatever, and you get that toasted, you get it all, like you get it all. So on coal, it is um, like, it, I don't want to say it's extremely strong. It's not. It's like medium. And when you burn it, it's a medium throw as well. But I put it on my stand in there in the living room. And it had the whole living room smelling just like this within minutes, y'all. I'm talking within minutes. It smelled just like this. Um, but it is a medium throw. So this ain't always oh, going to give you a 10. Because pumpkin peanut brittle out the gate is a 10. This is a 10. To me, this is a turned down version of pumpkin peanut brittle, in my humble opinion. So where this burns at a 10 and knocks your socks off, this is like a 6 or a 7 at the max. And a 7 is if I'm being generous. But it is a really nice, inviting scent, in my opinion. Like, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Bring it back, Tita. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. Um, what else do I want to talk about about this candle? I think that's it. Like, I think you should have at least one of these in your collection, at least to try it out to see what you think of it. Um, it didn't do any of that weird tunneling or anything yet. I've only burnt this candle twice, so 
that's the only information I have on it right now because I've only burnt it twice, but I haven't had any tunneling, no sooting yet. Again, this is only the second burn. I only burnt it two times, but I think this is a candle that I'm happy that I bought three of. Like, I am extremely excited to have this in my collection, especially since I can't really burn my pumpkin peanut brittle because they didn't bring it back this year. They didn't bring it back for whatever reason. This is something that they usually bring back every year since it's come out but they didn't bring it back this year. And I was joking with y'all when I made my candle day video and the lid fell off. I said, oh, I'm letting the, the secret out on Bath the Body Works because maybe they didn't bring it back this year because they knew they were gonna have something that was kind of similar to it and they want you to go for this. So I'm kind of thinking that's what it is, but to everybody, your nose is gonna be different. Like I'm saying these are similar. I'm not saying they're exact dupes. So please do not go in there and say, Tina said it was exact dupe. Bruh, girl, guy, whoever, I did not say that. I never said that. I said they were close. That's what I said. And they are. Like, when I'm burning it, it puts me in my vibe of a pumpkin peanut brittle. It's in that family. So, since it's giving me that vibe, I have to say, it's a vibe. And this is a candle I definitely would repurchase. I have three right now, and I'm going to burn two, save one. Um, but this candle is already going in my house. This candle will continuously go. Would I use this right before the holiday? No, I think I want something more Christmassy, but this one is something nice for an everyday scent. I would use this more in the fall and the winter. Like to me, this is a fall winter candle. This is not a spring summer candle. And that's just cause spring summer, I'm looking to be like watermelon lemonade, island margarita, tiki beach style. Like that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to be drowning in cocktails, okay? Drowning in cocktail. Like, and this is just more of a warmth, a warmth, a fall, a, a winter warmth by the fireplace kind of vibe. Like that's what I get from this candle. So all in all, this is a decent candle. It burns at a six or a seven to me. Um, and that's dealing with the open concept room. I would definitely repurchase it. I think you should repurchase it. I'm trying to think, is there anything about the candle I didn't tell you? No, I think I gave you the gist of it. I mean, it's a candle. I mean, what else are you looking for here? That's all I got. That's all I got for you, okay? So if you are looking for something in the pumpkin peanut brittle family, maybe like a cousin or something, this is the cousin. And you could go ahead and hang out with the cousin since they for some reason didn't bring back the original. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do y'all think about the toasted praline? Um, and this is a luminary candle, just so you guys know as well. This is a luminaire. So what did y'all think of this candle? Did you try it out? Are your thoughts in line with mine that is similar to pumpkin peanut brittle? Or are you like, girl, no. Nah. Nah, I couldn't stand this candle at all. So definitely let me know what you guys thought in the comments below of the candle. I love you guys. Remember, great comment, subscribe. And if you want me to keep doing candle reviews, let me know. I'm not the the most best, the most best. Does that even make sense? No, nope. I'm not the biggest explainer of all this stuff and all these things. I could just tell you if it's thank or if it don't. I mean, but if you want to hear it, I can bring it to you. Um, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.